Hey everyone, it's Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. I am out here with a new home tour for you today. It's a beautiful day out, a beautiful home behind me here. It's six bedroom, three bath, 3,717 square foot home, listed at 875. It's got tons of upgrades. We're gonna go take a look inside, see if this is the right home for you. Let's go. Okay, here we go. 3,717 square foot in the heart of Henderson. Great prime location. We actually have Sunridge Heights that runs this way and Eastern Avenue is gonna be right behind you over here. Not close enough to here, but close enough for quick access. Three car garage, two story home. Nice uh, landscape in the front yard. And it has a little front patio area here for you. So you could do a couple chairs, maybe a small table. Nice big front window, and it is a corner lot, so you do have a nice large side yard as well. Let's go inside and take a look. There is double doors uh, for the front door here. This door does open, so you have that extra wide access if you need it. This is gonna be the standard regular door you use all the time. And then you can see this beautiful flooring. So they have installed laminate floor throughout the home. We'll show you. Looks like it's been freshly painted and freshly remodeled as well. Um, one thing I noticed right away is all the moldings, the crown molding on the ceiling, the floor very clean, uh, nicely painted as well. Standard blinds in great condition. A new dining light as well. So this would be your dining area here and kind of a living area up here, maybe some couches whatever you like in that area. But this is a huge, large open room. You can see the white stair rail here. We'll check that out in a moment. And this is gonna bring us into the kitchen and the great room. They did kind of a tile wall here where your TV would go. I'm not sure how you mount your TV on this type of wall. That's something to look into. They do have the plug up top. So it's meant for hanging a TV, but I'm not sure how you hang a TV on tile. We'll have to look into that. Kind of an interesting choice. Maybe they could have left a little spot to put your TV mounting piece so that you could hang your TV. There are a couple little openings that go out to the hallway through this side wall, which gives you the appearance of just a little more openness. And we do have this beautiful laminate. It's kind of a light brown ashy. It's a little lighter than it looks on camera. Two big windows going out to the back and the beautiful kitchen. So it looks like new granite was installed. So great granite. Um, you can see some great coloring on there. You have basically grays, blacks, white coloring. Uh, it does come with the refrigerator, stainless steel, a matte finish black uh, basin sink here. And then we have uh, an upgraded faucet as well. The cabinets look like they've been painted and they added the hardware too. So they do have handles on the whole, the whole set of cabinets in the kitchen. And it looks like this is an upgraded Whirlpool stove as well. Probably came with the house. It doesn't look new. And a Whirlpool microwave, uh, all in stainless. Does come with the double oven as well. And that looks like a pretty new double oven. I don't think it's brand new, but it's very clean and definitely a newer style model. And then we have the pantry here. So not a huge pantry, but more pantry than a home without a pantry, if that makes any sense. Probably not, but uh, plenty of room for enough food and things here. You know, we like to see the big walk-in pantry, but again, uh, better than just the cabinets for the pantry. So it does give you some extra space there. We'll go check out the backyard in a minute. Here's the view from the corner here. They did install pendant lights. All the lighting matches very well uh, to each other. And you do have the recessed lighting as well in the kitchen. We'll take a look at the rest of the downstairs. There is a nice big under the closet, uh, under the closet, under the stairs closet. So you can see some good storage area there. You can use this as a coat closet as well. There's a place for the rods, you can hang coats. And then to the left here, we will have the laundry room. 
pretty big fancy light for a laundry room. I do like it. It's a little oversized for the room, but we'll take it. Washer and dryer come with the place. That same granite again with the same dark black matte sink and the same faucet as the kitchen. Same cabinet colors. They've been painted with the new handles on them. Looks like they replaced all the hardware in the home. So you have these kind of black uh, finished handles throughout. Nice little linen closet storage off of the laundry room as well. And this will bring us into the three car garage. So very big garage. Water heater appears to be in pretty good shape. You can kind of tell right away by looking at it. Um, doesn't look old, doesn't look beat up or rusty. And then yeah, you have your three car garage here. The third bay does not have a garage door opener. So that's gonna be manual only. And then clearly a garage door opener here. Plenty of light in here. And it is a good size garage, three story for you. And we'll head back to these bedrooms here. I believe this is a fuse closet. Oh, that's going to be the water lines. So these are where all the water lines go through. Um, you can add, remove, turn on, off, hot and cold. So that's a nice little addition. Kind of shows the age of the home. And then we're going to have one bedroom here to the left. And this is a pretty good sized bedroom. Again, that same flooring, no crown molding in here. We do have the nice big those are about six inch baseboards throughout the home. Uh, again, the blinds and the standard fair closet. We got these two sliders. Actually, it's a little bit wider than them. Maybe not. Okay, just kidding. I thought I went behind the door there. But decent sized closet. These are pretty wide sliding doors. So you know what, I take it back. Maybe it is a little bit wider than your standard closet. And that brings us to the downstairs bathroom. So this is gonna double as the full bath for the bedrooms, if that's what you choose to use them for. Uh, that might be the same tile that was in the family room behind the TV wall. Uh, interesting drain there. It's kind of a unique style. And then the black hardware also. Now this doesn't have a shower curtain or a door. It's just got the one piece of glass. You see that a lot in hotels. It's that kind of style. Uh, we do have the lighting up there, uh, basin sink. It's a pretty cool sink. I like when they're up off of the vanity like that. And a new toilet. So looking good in the bathroom, but again, that's going to double as the bathroom, the full bath for these bedrooms, as well as your guest bathroom. And then we have another bedroom on this side, about the same size as the bedroom we just saw, a little bit more echoey. Uh, we do have those two oversized sliders for the closet as well. All the rooms have this kind of ceiling fan. Uh, looks like they were just installed. It's a good quality ceiling fan. It does come with the remote here on the wall, which you can actually remove or drop on the floor. Uh, you can take the remote with you or leave it here. So uh, we'll stick that back and turn the fan back off. But yeah, so that you can take to the bed if you want to adjust things or whatnot from, from a remote position, or you can leave it just on the wall. But yeah, they all have those. There's the other one there. And let's go take a look upstairs. So the stairs I did want to point out, it's this real nice laminate, but they do have these lips on all of the stairs. Right now it looks good, they're nice. Uh, I do see those come off a lot, so over time and age, you kind of have to reattach those to the, to the stairs. Um, they tend to get loose. So just something to be aware of when you're purchasing a home. It does give a nice grip walking up the stairs. These stairs are a little bit shallow. And you can see no pony walls, so it's railing all the way around. That brings us to this huge loft. Plenty of light in this loft. Also that same ceiling fan this great laminate floor. And you can kind of look out over the neighborhood here. So this is a great feeling loft. Like you really feel open and bright up here. Plenty of room for games, TV, pool table, ski ball, I don't know, whatever you have. But there's plenty of room for it up here. I don't know why I said ski ball. I don't know anyone that has a ski ball machine outside of Chuck E. Cheese, but you know. And that brings us to the primary bedroom. 
Now this bedroom does have the, do the two double doors going in. It's a nice feature if you like that. And this primary bedroom is split up into two sections. So you'll see this half pony wall here. So you have kind of a sitting room office area here. And then on this side, you have the area for your bed, dressers, whatever else you need. So it is nice versatility if you want to do some other things. Like I said, you could do your office over here, just have a sitting area. Um, you could even do a couch and a TV. I don't know, whatever you like, but there is room to do it. That same ceiling fan here, plenty of natural light in this home. They do have all the blinds pulled up upstairs, which is nice to let the light in. I'm not sure if that's how you'll live, but just wanted to point that out when the blinds are down, even when they're open, there will be less light in here. We have a dual primary closet. So we have one to the left. This is a big walk-in closet. Again, those updated modern lights. Mirrored doors on both sides and then also a second closet over here. So one for each person in the room. This one's a little smaller than the other side, but still a good size. So plenty of closet space. And that brings us to this big primary bathroom. The center feature is this nice soaking tub. Uh, you can see the dark hardware again. They did a great job uh, matching everything to itself in the home. This granite on the vanity here, so this would be just a sitting vanity, uh, has the light overhead, and then the same sinks we saw downstairs uh, with the faucets, and that same hardware on the cabinets. They did frame the mirrors with the crown molding as well, so everything matches really well in this home. We also kind of have a, a raised roof in here as well. You can kind of see the, the outline of the extended roof here and then great lighting also and that same sink uh, they have a lot of drawers on this side this side has three larger drawers so a lot of functionality a lot of versatility so here's the shower space for you same style as downstairs this one does have the actual door on it uh, i do like that kind of drain we got a rain shower with the wand the black hardware also in that same tile we've seen throughout the home. And then the water closet in here for privacy. New toilet with a double flush, which is great. Black hardware on the toilet paper roll holder. I think that's what that's called. That seemed like a really long word. Um, and again, that black hardware. So a lot of great features in this house. It is turnkey, ready to go. Bring your stuff in, set it down and start living. Now there is a little linen closet right outside of the primary bedroom. Linens, games, whatever you wanna put in there. Versatile storage, and we're gonna walk back towards the other three bedrooms in the home. Now notice, these are taped down. What did I tell you on the stairs? Those things come up, those thresholds. So it looks like they've re-glued them and taped them down so they don't come up during showings. But again, something interesting to note, uh, liquid nails would probably keep that on forever. I don't know what they used originally, but as you can see, they definitely had some issues with those that they've repaired. So this is gonna be the fourth bedroom. Well, third bedroom, if you don't count the primary, but the fourth bedroom we visited. And it has a nice big arc window, arched window, arced, arched, both of the correct, I don't know. Anyways, it's a window with a round top. Uh, they do have the blinds on the bottom, but not on the top. So the sun is actually going to rise right over here. So I'm not sure how the sunlight affects you in the morning, but something to take note of which way your house is facing. Um, and this one does have a nice size walk-in closet as well. That same lighting we've seen throughout. This one's a little more standard. This is probably the size they should have used in the laundry room <laughs> over the, other than that huge oversized one, but you know, it all looks great. So a nice uh, walk-in actually goes around to the left too. So good oversized walk-in closet for let's call it bedroom four. And we come around to bedroom five. Now this is one of the bigger bedrooms. Um, you can tell walking in, there's a lot of space. Standard window, same ceiling fan. You have another window on the side, so plenty of windows, plenty of light. And this is the 
three wide closets. So you can see three of those large sliding doors. So you get a little extra closet space. The closets do all have these racks and bars and shelves. So should be pretty easy to move in and move your stuff in as well. Upstairs, there's one bathroom shared for three bedrooms. And we're gonna see a lot of the same fixtures. So these raised up sinks, the basin sinks, we got the black hardware, the same lighting on top, this same granite, same flooring, same tile in the tub, same fixtures. So it is nice to see the same types of materials and fixtures and colors throughout the home. Another double flush toilet. So it is a relief um, when they do these homes kind of custom um, remodels. You know, I, I don't like to see different showers, different, you know, hardware throughout the whole home. I like that it's all the same. So that is a nice feature. And they spent some money on these because those are not cheap. Uh, that's not cheap hardware. The last bedroom, so this is the sixth bedroom. Now I was a little concerned when I saw it was a six bedroom, three bath. That seemed like not enough baths for six bedroom, but I gotta tell you, the primary has its own bathroom. These three bedrooms share a bathroom and then the two bedrooms downstairs share the bathroom as the guest bath. So it's actually pretty functional. Um, I would like to see maybe a powder room downstairs as well, but you know what? It works out just fine. I don't think it would be an issue. Um, that same ceiling fan here. So the six bedroom, three baths should not be a problem with the way this is laid out. Um, good size closet as well. This doesn't have three doors. It's just two extra wide uh, regular doors, but a good size closet nonetheless. And again, that hardware throughout the home, even the little um, handles on the closet doors are in the black, uh, black matte finish. So that's going to be it for upstairs. We're going to go take a look at the backyard. See how it is back there. And I will let you all get back to your day. Thanks for watching this. My name is Andrew Giant. I'm with Simply Vegas. And if you have any questions in real estate, looking to buy, looking to sell, looking to invest, or just want to talk, give me a call. My number's at the bottom. I would love to chat and see what I can do to help you and your family, your friends with their real estate needs. So immediately walking out, I see this, uh, this cloth overhang. I couldn't think of the word. I was going to try to call it like linen or something. Um, not sure if that helps with the afternoon sunlight, but it probably does. There's a reason it's there. It looks nice, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and a good sized backyard. So you'll notice they have a high block wall on the left. And then it switches to a lower block wall with the iron at the top. And then you do have a gate here that goes out to the front. Mature landscape, plenty of trees. Grass needs a little bit of help. Looks like there are sprinklers installed for the grass. There was sod at one point in time. Uh, when you see this netting here, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this netting, that's the sod netting. So it was sodded. Um, the shade might be an issue trying to get grass to grow. I'm not sure. Honestly, though, if this was all turf just in that area, it would look amazing. So just a little cleanup back here and you have a great yard. Uh, you could even do a pool back here and it'd be pretty easy to install compared to a lot of houses because you have plenty of access. The road's right here. So that's it for this home. 3,717 square foot. Six bedroom, three bath, fully remodeled, beautiful home, listed at $875,000. If you want to see this home in person or any other homes, please give me a call. I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. I will see you on the next home tour. Thanks for watching.